Did you know there are seven different ways in Moho to operate a switch layer? In this episode, we're going to learn all eight of them. Wait, did I say eight? Yes, after we cover the seven official methods, I'll let you in on Little Green Dog's super secret eighth method. Hey, welcome back to Little Green Dog's animation tutorial series. The version of Moho we'll be using is 14.3. If you don't know what a switch layer is, it's a special group layer containing multiple layers, but displaying only one of these layers at a time. Switch layers can be handy for switching between drawings, but they can also switch between other group layers, and even different bone layers. So the switch layer is an incredibly useful feature. In this tutorial, I'll show you the different ways to switch between drawings inside a switch layer. But there is so much more to talk about with switch layers We'll be uploading more tutorials on the subject later. If you'd like to follow along with these lessons, the free activity files can be downloaded from the link in the description. After you download and unpack the zip file, you'll find four Moho project files, and you'll be instructed to open them during this tutorial. Before we begin, here's a quick lesson on how to select layers inside Moho. For this lesson, Open the file called Toot 7 Activity 1. Ready? All right, let's go. So how do we select a layer inside Moho? Of course, we can simply click on a layer inside the Layers window. Everybody knows that. But did you know you can select layers directly inside the working area? In this example, we have several colored dots, and each dot is in a different layer. Two of the layers are inside separate group layers. To select any of these layers from the working area, hold down the Alt key and right click over a drawing. So when we click the green dot, the green dot's vector layer gets selected. And it doesn't need to be a vector layer. The red dot is an image layer, and when we Alt right click over this drawing, the image layer gets selected. Moho doesn't care if the layer is inside a group like this blue dot, or inside a group that's inside another group, like this yellow dot. But what if I want to select a group layer? To do this, hold Shift and Alt together, and then right-click over the artwork. Let's click on the blue dot this way. Hold Shift, Alt, and right-click. Instead of selecting the blue dot's art layer, we selected the blue dot's parent group layer. Now, remember this technique because later in this tutorial, we'll be using it with switch layers. For this lesson, open the file called Toot7 Activity 2 and move the timeline's playhead to frame 24. The first way to select a switch layer drawing is to right-click over the switch layer in the Layers window. The drawings inside the switch layer will appear in a list. And when I select one of the drawings, it will become the active drawing in the switch layer. Over in the timeline, there's a new keyframe for the switch layer at frame 24. To change the drawing at frame 24, I right-click on the switch layer again and choose another drawing. For this lesson, we'll continue to use the file Toot7 Activity 2. Make sure the playhead is on frame 24. Let's open the switch layer group by clicking on this toggle switch in the Layers window. This reveals the drawing layers inside the switch layer. We can select the individual drawing layers by clicking on them, but this doesn't keyframe the drawing for the switch layer. To do that, hold the Alt key and click on a drawing layer. This tells Moho to keyframe the switch layer and make this drawing the new active layer. If you're wondering where the keyframes are, remember, we currently have the drawing layer selected and we need to select the switch layer to see its keyframes. Methods 1 and 2 are basic ways to operate the switch layer. Clicking inside the layers window works OK, but it's a hassle when the switch layer is nested several layers deep. Thankfully, there are better ways to do this. For this lesson, we'll continue to use the file Toot7 Activity 2. Make sure the playhead is on frame 24. OK, now the fun stuff we can animate a switch layer directly inside the working area. As a matter of fact, 
There are multiple ways to do this. Let's start with the easiest method. Remember earlier how I said we can select the parent group of a layer by Shift-Alt right-clicking over the artwork? Well, this works for switch layers too. Let's Shift-Alt right-click over the mouth. Look over in the Layers window and notice how the switch layer for the mouth has been selected instead of the drawing layer. Now, to switch drawings, press Alt-D to cycle up the stack of drawings. And press Alt-C to cycle down the stack. Where we stop becomes the active drawing for the switch layer. OK, that was better than methods 1 and 2, but check this out. For this lesson, we'll continue to use the file Toot7 Activity 2. Make sure the playhead is on frame 24. For this method, hold the Control and Alt keys together and right-click over the drawing. A list will pop up. This is the list of layers from the switch layer. Select an item from the list, and it becomes the new active layer. Pretty neat, huh? Naturally, this method is more useful when we take the time to give the layers sensible names. A unique feature of this method is that we don't need to select the switch layer. When we select a layer from the pop-up list, Moho keyframes it automatically. So with this method, you never need to leave the bone layer. A long time ago, in a galaxy around the corner, this was my favorite way to use the switch layer. Method number 5 is a variation of method number 4. I honestly forgot about this one until writing this tutorial. Here's how it works. When a switch layer is selected, this tool icon appears at the top of the Tools window. And if you look in the Tool options, there's another list. It's not as cool as the one we get with method number 4, but it's here to use if you forget the Alt right click shortcut. For this lesson, open the file called Toot7 Activity 3 and move the playhead to frame 24. Moho has a feature called Smart Bones, which lets us assign animations to a controller bone. Basically, any keyframe sequence can be assigned to a smart bone, and when a smart bone is set up like an on screen controller, it's called a smart bone dial. One popular use of the smartphone dial is to assign a keyframe sequence of drawings in a switch layer. So when the dial is turned, it steps through each drawing in the switch layer. For example, this method might be used to flip through mouth shapes for lip sync animation, or for blinking eyes, or changing hand drawings. Smartphones can be a lot of fun to set up and use. Unfortunately, we don't have the time in this tutorial to explain how to do this but I'll show you in upcoming tutorials about smart bones. Before we move on, you should know that there is one situation where a smart bone dial is not a good choice for controlling a switch layer, and that is when we want to use the interpolate sublayers option. Interpolate sublayers is a feature that allows us to smoothly morph between switch layer drawings. Like this. Pretty cool, huh? But smart bones, by their nature, are not compatible with this option, so when you want to use it, you'll need to use a different method. And on that note, let's talk about the best switch layer method, at least in my opinion. For this lesson, open the file called Toot7 Activity 4 and move the playhead to frame 24. Finally, we've arrived at my favorite switch layer method, the switch selection window. Why do I like it? It's simple to set up, easy to use, and unlike the others, the switch selection window is a fully visual method. Here, let me show you. First, open the switch selection window. Next, Shift-Alt right-click over the artwork. Now we can scrub the slider in this window to view and keyframe a drawing in the switch layer. Now that's pretty cool. And if you don't want to use the slider, you can use the Alt-D and Alt-C shortcuts to cycle through the drawings. The switch selection window is my preferred method for animating lip sync in Moho. And I'll be uploading a tutorial about how to do that too. Oh, and unlike using a smartphone dial, 
the switch selection window is fully compatible with the interpolate sublayers option. There's only one gotcha with this method, at least for me. My switch layer drawings tend to have multiple layers that need to be organized as child groups inside the switch layer. This is fine because the switch layer will recognize a child group as a single layer. So where's the problem? Well, when I shift alt right click over a drawing, instead of selecting the switch layer, Moho selects the child group layer. Grrr. But of course, I have a solution for this. This brings us to the mysterious, unofficial method number eight. For this method, I press Alt and click the drawing to select it. And then I press Shift S, and Moho loads the switch layer to the switch selection window, even if that drawing is nested inside a child group. Ooh. Technically, this isn't a way to select a drawing, but it's a quicker way to select a switch layer. It's also my favorite way to use the switch layer, and it's how I do all my lip sync animations. Oh, and here's a bonus trick. When I need to select the bones layer, I press Shift B. What? Yep, that's what I do. But that's just me. Seriously. It's just me right now. And that's because this trick requires two third party scripts. And one of them currently exists only on my computer. Aww. But in our next tutorial, I'll show you how to get these scripts and how to use them. Yay! For now, my producer Elisa says we're out of time, but we'll be back next week with part two of our tutorial. Thanks for watching, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>